UnoSwitch 3TN not only offers a flyback conversion capability, it also has isolation built in. Now, why is that important? What's happening now is that uh, the power levels are going up in appliances and industrial applications, primarily because of new features added to them. And as you go to higher power levels, buck converters become very inefficient and expensive. So flyback is a much better topology for the type of products they are building today. And InnoSwitch 3TN has a very, very flat efficiency from full load to very, very small loads. It can implement uh, a SR very easily and provide additional uh, efficiency benefit. Why is that important? Most of the time, your appliances are not doing very much. They're just sitting there consuming a small amount of power, and you want to be very efficient at light loads, more so than at full load, uh, to meet all the energy efficiency requirements, which are actually measured on real application uh, usage. Most appliances in the past use non-isolated power supplies, but the new features you're adding, for example, let's take a monitor on your refrigerator. That has to be isolated because people are touching that monitor and it's much harder for them to isolate the screen of the monitor than to isolate the power supply. So Inno3TN provides uh, both options. You can use it as an isolated power supply or a non-isolated power supply. And that's possible because we have this flux link isolation built in and that allows you in addition to being isolated, it allows you to reference the output sense circuitry to either a negative voltage or a positive voltage. So you have a single platform that can be used for any of these configurations, isolated, non-isolated, minus voltage, positive voltage, multiple voltages, and so on. There are a few other advantages we offer with the Inno 3TN. It can deliver up to 15 watts with no heat sink at all. It's a very small package. It takes up very little room. Plus, it has such a high level of integration, you need very few external components. Current limit is built in, voltage sensing is built in, and of course, the isolation is built in, the power device is built in. So if you look at the whole circuit, it has far fewer components even than a buck converter. 